<laughs> now, if you're here for the first time, and you might be thinking, what, what the, the fuck, fuck is Star, Star Wars, Wars story, story time? time? We did not rehearse that. I swear to fucking God, we didn't rehearse that. What a great job we did. Good job. Okay. <laughs> We could have done a better job on that high five, yeah, but yeah. I wasn't looking at you. Okay. Anyway, Daniel reads comic books and then yeah. retells them to me. Who doesn't read comics? Um, yes. Uh, before we get into that, um, uh, a big thanks to a, a Star Wars comics story. Go sub to his uh, channel on YouTube. If you can't afford the uh, the Star Wars comics, um, he uploads all of them in video form. Um, and they're just videos of the comics yeah. like he's, he doesn't like do dramatic readings like we're about to do or anything like it's it's a way better way to do it all right we just hit a b flat major chord we have scrolling text what's yeah. going on well there is no previously on oh. it just opens on two shadowy figures watching yeah. this this woman in hologram form who's like gather around children and listen to the tale of kira the fucking baddest bitch in all the land who had like one huge problem with darth vader and emperor palpatine and that problem was that she fucking hated him and like Kira was fine with power. She fucking loved power unless it was held by someone who wasn't her. Yeah. But she covered that up with, oh, I don't like absolute power, which sure, is what yeah. Palpatine had, right? But she she wanted, I mean, come on, it's yeah. Kira. If, if you don't know who Kira is, by the way, go watch uh, Solo, Solo Star Wars Story. Yeah. yeah. So one of the shadow figure guys is like, well, it's not too bad. Like, it's too bad that Kira kept all of all of her machinations a secret. Like, maybe we, we you know, we could have helped. And, mm -hmm. and the second shadow figure is like, meh. You'd be you'd be surprised to what extent she had trust problems. So that, that probably would not have worked. Plus, if if she told us anything, Vader probably would have killed us too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so the hologram woman's like, "Shut the fuck up and listen to the story, asshole." <clears throat> <clears throat> it all started with Kira not giving a single fuck about anything, mm -hmm. and Kira uh, is standing before this like huge group of stormtroopers and shit. And is like Palpatine, Vader. I I don't know if you can hear me, but. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck your little empire. This is my shadow emperor, the empire yeah. now. So mm -hmm. suck it. And so the hologram woman explains how um, she had this plan that unfolded in stages and involved assassinations and shadow wars. And it was all designed to scare Palpatine. Okay. And so the hologram woman is like, see, she didn't realize, though, trying to scare Palpatine is fucking dumb and should not be attempted by anyone. Yeah, th this is the thing that always gets me about these these plots in Star Wars where people are trying to like oh, like replace Darth <laughs> yeah, right. Vader or something. They're Sith. Yeah, this is like you don't know it, but yeah. they're Sith. I think that's the whole thing is that people don't understand it, and so they think that they can take yeah. them on, and then it just oh, no, Palpatine's just an old man in a cape. Yeah. We can beat it the right. hell out of him. No, no, not at all. So of course Palpatine learns what. Kira's trying, like, the Kira's trying to hunt him. So he's, like, in his throne room, and, and he's, like, looking around. He's like, someone go fucking kill her, please. And they're like, okay. So Kira realizes that Palpatine is on tour, right? Uh, and that her time <laughs> in the universe is very, very limited. Um, so she, like, activates her people, okay. which are sleeper agents that are part of Crimson Dawn, her, like, uh, criminal sy sy sure, syndicate. Yeah. And they're all over the galaxy. She's got him in every fucking level of infrastructure. And so she... Um, so what's their line? A, a, a thousand better than one? Or a million uh, a million stronger than one, I think. Yeah. yeah. She, like, picks up to the phone to all her, like, fucking sleeper agents. And she's like, okay, the old man is on to us. Create as much chaos as possible. And so all over the galaxy, like, these merchants and slicers, imperials, rebels, smugglers, bounty hunters, fucking everyone on both sides who are loyal to Crimson Dawn... Just start creating chaos and breaking just, just everything. Everything blows yes. up. So, and all these guys are like intense believers, mm -hmm. right? They're fanatics. Um, and so they take these crazy risks to break the empire and keep Palpatine busy. And there are a couple of shots of like, they're, they're assassinating this one like high profile thing. And like Vader just getting randomly shot at wherever he goes. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> and probably just getting annoyed by yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Like batting it away and just killing like, him. Hey! Yeah, stop it. stop it. Stop it. I just want to eat lunch. Get away from me. <laughs> so the hologram woman is like, one of her more important plans involved me. A central element to her master plan to destroy the Sith was to use the dark side against them. <laughs> Looking back, this was a terrible idea. <laughs> you think? Yeah. And so we know that Kira inherited Crimson Dawn from Darth Maul, mm -hmm. right? Again, go watch uh, Solo Star Wars Story. And he taught her, apparently, a bunch of tips and tricks to, to be a badass. And, um, yeah. of course, we know Maul died. Yes. And uh, well, Obi-Wan killed him yes. in a very cool sequence it, in Rebels? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, episode called uh, Two, Two Sons, I think. 
And Palpatine had a death grip on any and all information about the force. Yeah. Um, like he, his whole thing was erasing the institutional memory of the Jedi and hoarding everything that was important to the force. Mm -hmm. But some things slipped through his fingers and Kira found them. So, um, Kira's search led her to this really powerful dark side artifact called the Fermata cage. <laughs> now we're musicians. Yeah. So we like, get that. I read that and I was like, Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah. So it, it could do, do like extraordinary things in the right hands, but Kira didn't have the right hands. Yeah. And like all she had were the Knights of Ren, by the way. Okay. Like they're, <laughs> they're involved in Crimson Dawn now too. <laughs> and they're honestly a bunch of blithering idiots. And so they're useless. Um, but it's like the best she had, right? Yeah. She has these these guys who can kind of like fumble through the force, and <laughs> yeah, right. Sort of activate the the hold cage, which for you non musicians, fermata means hold. Yeah, um, which by the way, if you want to know how terrible the Knights of Ren are, really <laughs> go uh, read the Rise of Kylo Ren and watch Luke uh, beat all of them in single in, in group all combat. All nine of them, yeah. at the same time, yeah. and <laughs> with, without even really having trouble yeah. with it. So the hologram woman is like. <clears throat> I was one of the last people around who knew shit about the force. Uh, I was like a, like an archivist mm -hmm. and uh, my job was to uncover secrets about this artifact that we had and have the Knights of Ren on call. If I needed some like spooky dark side shit to happen. Yeah. Right. And so the, the hologram woman who is now not like, this is like a flashback. She's inspecting the artifact mm -hmm. and she like points to one of the, the Knights of Ren. She's like, Hey, come over here. And like, I, I want to see if touching this thing with the force does anything. And like one of the Knights of Ren is like, actually, I was taking a nap. So I uh, suck my balls. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I hate these oh, guys. God, they're so fucking terrible. One day you're going to get what's coming to you <laughs> after you pose for a for a boy band yeah. shot on top of a rock. Um, so it became apparent th that the Knights of Ren are useless, right? Mm -hmm. So I decided to find an expert of my own that knew shit that I didn't. And that expert's name was Ko Fon Ferris. Okay. What a fucking name, dude. Ko Fon Ferris. It's a very Star Wars name. Yes. She was a part of this group of people that once tried to replicate the effects of the Force with technology. Okay. Right? And so she's like, so I talked to her. She filled in some of the, the holes in my knowledge, and, and we start working together to try to, like, figure out this artifact. Yeah, she filled in my holes, giggity. Oh, yeah. So we tried some crazy shit to get this <laughs> artifact to do something. There were mushrooms and a bomb yeah. and a couple dildos. And I, I don't even want to know how many. And the Knights of Ren do. brought all of them. We didn't yeah. even know what the fuck they, like, they we were. We didn't even yeah. ask. They just yeah. showed they up. They showed up with, yeah. Um, so we tried the Knights of Ren, which of course was a fucking bust. Uh, we used droid technology. We used her artificial uh, technology, force technology. Mm -hmm. None of it worked. Like, we would sit and do experiments on this thing and we just look back and mock like mock us. It just, it was so fucking infuriating. So the hologram woman goes on. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing about Palpatine. He knows everything and he knew that we were up to something. And as you can imagine, him knowing was not ideal for us. Yeah. And it turns out all of Palpatine's en enemies all have this like one solitary thing in common. And it is that they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, like time is ticking down. The walls are closing in. We got to figure out something, you know? Yeah. So Palpatine is having this meeting in his throne room with uh, the huts and what, what looks exactly like Prince uh, Shizor from mm -hmm. Black Sun. Okay. Uh, the Pikes, like all the crim criminal people, yeah. except for Crimson Don, because. Because fuck them. He, he's like, you're dead to me. <laughs> so Palpatine is livid he's like spits flying from his mouth and shit and he's like listen here assholes you are the worst servants in the entire universe like you've all carved out your little kingdom i'm surrounded by imbeciles yeah, exactly you you've all like carved out your little fiefdoms with your little followers and your in your wealth let me tell you that shit is done with like this is my empire you serve me if you have a problem with that, so help me marry mother of God, I will lightning you right in the taint. <laughs> no more fighting each other. You're all going to band together and go after Kira. She's a pain in my ass. I'm 107 fucking years old and I have enough pains in my ass already. <laughs> Are we clear on this? And they're all like, yes, sir. Fine, yeah. I guess. So Palpatine 
turns his attention then to cleaning out the empire and getting rid of secret uh, uh, Crimson Dawn agents, which we've seen in, in some other works, right? It mostly involves Vader just showing right. up and killing everybody. Yes. There is this great shot of Aiden Versio and oh. the special forces mowing down Imperial officers who were traitors, oh, which I thought was a great callback. Yeah, I know. Um, and of course, Vader is stalking around, killing Imperials right and mm-hmm. left. It's like yeah. the happiest he's been in months, <laughs> yeah. right? So... Also, Palpatine closed all Imperial ports to, to Crimson Dawn. Okay. And he put out these like ridiculously high bounties. The Imperial fleet, the whole fucking fleet was on high alert hunting down Crimson Dawn agents. Um, Kira like tried to hide, but as we know, no one hides from Palpatine and he eventually finds them. More specifically, no one hides from Vader. Yeah. <laughs> so Kira is hiding out in her Crimson Dawn yacht and it is all of a sudden surrounded by Star Destroyers. And Kira's like, well, shit. And yeah, we had a good run. Yeah. <laughs> Their pilot's like, well, they're they're not fucking around. Uh, they brought an interdictor Star Destroyer with them, and they only have like three of those things in their entire fleet. Mm-hmm. So, um, like, they want us very bad. And Kira's like, well, I mean, look on the bright side, guys. Like, we, we should be flattered, and, you know, they want us this much. We're, you know, like, we're a big deal. And all the other bridge officers are like, oh, my God, we're going to die. <laughs> and her comms officer is like, so a little update on our situation. Um, they're hailing us and Kira's like, well, that explains why we're still alive. Yeah. Um, if they're on screen, yeah, (laughs) yeah, you did You pulled a star Trek right there. (laughs) Um, so she's like, if they're talking to us, I guess they can't shoot us. So this is fine. I can run my mouth out of fucking anything. So let's, let's give this a go. Can't hurt. I mean, we're going to die anyway. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, get our forces ready and be ready to attack on, on my commands. Uh, you, you two go get on the fucking guns and like her droid lady bright is like oh i want to get on the guns too and she's like you can but first get me a secure line that the imperials can't hack and keep it open while i'm talking to the empire Mm -hmm. and the droid's like and then i can do the guns and she's like and then you can do the guns yes so kira gets on a secure line to the hologram woman who we learned her, her name is sava okay and she's like please tell me you guys are ready and sava's like um d- define ready uh, like if you mean that we have no idea what the fuck we're doing and this could go either way 50 50 and it's just as likely we all die as anything else we are absolutely 100 percent without a shade of doubt ready <laughs> and kira's like okay i guess that'll have to do yes, uh, fine I, I need you to activate the fermata cage on my commands do we have any idea what the fuck it does and so i was like we do not know what it does now <laughs> And she's like, fantastic. Awesome. Yes. I've you, never had a plan yes, go so well. You have 10 minutes. And so I was like, I'd ask for more, but honestly, I doubt it would make a huge difference. So sure. Let's <laughs> fucking right, do cool. it. Yeah. So Kira and Palpatine meets via hologram. Mm-hmm. Right. And Palpatine's like, well, 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 <laughs> if look at who it is. Look what the space yeah. cat dragged in. You know, what's funny. Vader and I were just talking the other day and he said you were formidable and he doesn't even compliment me like that. So, um, that like I was surprised. But First of all, how dare you? Yes, um, but he forgot to mention that you're an idiot. <laughs> and Kira's like, yeah, that's that's what everyone keeps saying. But they end up dead. And Palpatine's like, yeah, yeah, okay. Look, I know Maul told you things about the Sith, and your plan was to find the Sith and poke us with a stick. Yeah, you've got balls, like, but you were extremely stupid. <laughs> and um, Kira's like, speaking of Maul, he taught me a lot of uh, very interesting things. And Palpatine's like, yeah, I mean, Maul was an idiot. Did he teach you his best trick where he gets cut in half and falls down a fucking bottomless pit? <laughs> and then gets spider legs. Yeah. <laughs> and Kira's like, he taught me to do whatever I, I have to do. So on the bridge of the, the lead Star Destroyer, the, the head officer is like, um, the uh, Crimson Dawn ship is moving into an attack posture. So uh, get that interdictor ready. Yeah. And somebody tell Palpatine, not it. So Palpatine's like, so this is your big plan to, to attack a fleet of Star Destroyers. Look, I find you just interesting enough to keep this conversation going. <laughs> Don't immediately die because like that's going to happen if you attack and this conversation is going to end. And she's like, oh, Palpatine. Oh, you sweet summer uh, child. You just don't understand. You're not the fucking boss of me. <laughs> and Palpatine's like, so well, does that mean you're going to die now? <laughs> yeah. Like- <laughs> Palpatine's like, I literally am the boss of you. Like I could kill you with a thought. Like, see, here's the problem with fucking millennials. You <laughs> aligned yourself with Maul and literally everyone knows that Maul had one defining characteristic. He just was not good enough. And I'm starting to think you probably aren't good enough either. 
So meanwhile on the planet, Sava and Co. and the Knights of Ren are standing around this device, this like contraption. <laughs> this they've yeah thing. They have no idea how it works. Yeah. They know how to how yeah how to make it work. Yeah. So the Knights of Ren are like plugged into it, like they have these collars on with cords and <laughs> they have no idea what the fuck they're doing either and they just, Sava's they just know that it's kinky yeah yeah they're yeah so Sava's like okay well I guess we're gonna do this and the Knights of Ren is like oh god we're all gonna fucking die and Sava's like probably wait we're all gonna die why do I have a boner yeah exactly explain this direction please <laughs> so Sava's like yeah probably gonna die so here's the plan I flip the switch you guys do whatever little fucking force things you do Co, are you ready? And she's like, I absolutely am not. Some of this equipment hasn't been used for thousands of years. Yeah, let's fucking do it. So I was like, great. Yeah, so I was like, that's the spirit. Okay, everyone, when I hit the switch here and she accidentally hits the switch, (laughs) energy starts flying, fucking hitting the Knights of Ren. (laughs) Yeah, lifting the Knights of Ren, flipping them around and shit. And so I was like, huh, would you look at that? (laughs) That's interesting. So meanwhile, Palpatine's starting to get kind of a bad feeling. Mm Mm-hmm. And Palpatine's like, okay, I know Maul taught you how to cloud your thoughts, but like, what the fuck are you up to? Why am I getting this weird tingle in the force? And she's like, well, I'm doing whatever I have to do. And Palpatine's like, that is not a satisfactory answer to my question. (laughs) And Kira's like, let me put it this way. You're not the only one that can find old dark side relics. And Palpatine's like, oh, fuck. (laughs) You fucking idiot. What did you do now? So on the planet, the Knights of Ren are getting zapped to shit. (laughs) And Sava and Coward is watching. Like they're they're like equal parts perplexed and excited. They're like, I I think it's working. (laughs) Maybe. Yeah. And Co's like, I'm gonna be real honest with you. I'm not sure I would be able to tell the difference between it's working and it's about to all blow up and kill us. So I like I don't even know if those aren't the same thing. I mean, we might be dead already. Who knows? Palpatine is having a real, real bad feeling now. Mm -hmm. And Palpatine's like, you're a goddamn liar. And he uses the force to choke Kira through the hologram. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Sava gets hit with like purple energy. (laughs) Yeah, flies into a pile of boxes. And Ko's like, get up, you old bitch. Like, I can't do this alone. And (laughs) and Sava's like, well, let's not get fucking sentimental here, Ko. Kira is about to be choked to death. Yes. And she's like, if you kill me, You'll never know what I'm up to. And Palpatine's like, yeah, um, I'm weighing if I actually care. Like, I might be persuaded just to cut the loss because seeing you die would ultimately satisfy me. And then he stops and he thinks about it for a couple of seconds. And then he he drops her and he's like, God damn it. Just go on. <laughs> and she's like, OK, so we got a hold of the Fermata cage. We have no idea what the fuck it does. I was like, you got what? <laughs> yeah. She's like, we don't know what it does, but I have a theory. I think it freezes individual moments and can be used to suspend people in places in time forever. And what can be frozen can be thawed. Palpatine's like, hmm, yes, my knowledge of Italian does support that theory. And then Palpatine's eyes is kind of like, oh, you found the Fromata cage? (laughs) So the Knights of Ren are now being whipped around by cords and hitting into the machine, slamming up against stuff. And and they kind of like it. Yeah, most most of the equipment is on fire. Everything is on fire, pretty much, right? So Kira is like, so Maul found out about this ancient Sith that was frozen by the Fermata cage and he wanted to free, to free him and sit back and watch you all fight and then pick up the pieces after you were dead. And Palpatine's like, that's so fucking typical Maul. <laughs> and she's like, I know, right. So I think we figured out how to make it work. And Palpatine's like, oh, f- 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 you, t- what did you do? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I, I know you can sense it now. And to be honest with you, I, I don't think we know enough about it to even stop it at this point. And he's like, oh my God, what have you done? <laughs> This is why we don't let idiots get <laughs> yeah, important right. Sith artifacts. This is the reason I'm collecting all these things. So this dumbass is like, you yeah. can't destroy the universe. Right. So the device explodes in, in this blinding flash of energy. The Knights of Ren, everyone is thrown fucking everywhere. Ah. So Kira's like, so here's where I'm at. I don't have to win. I just want to see you fucking die. And on cue, the Crimson Dawn ship suicide runs into the Interdictor Star Destroyer. And then uh, Kira's hologram winks out and Palpatine's like god damn it and he turns to the royal guards that are like flanking him. he's like target all the escape pods there were no survivors <laughs> and they're like yes okay yes. so on the planet um, love committing war crimes yeah. Sava and Ko are looking around the wreckage and uh, Ko is like well that likely could have done 
like it, that could have gone better. And so I was like, I'm not even sure if that's true. Like <laughs> we're alive. So there's that. And yeah. Ren, the, the leaders, uh, the leader of the Knights of Ren crawls out of the wreckage and ignites his lightsaber. And he's like, yeah, let's not fucking jump to conclusions <laughs> about you living. <laughs> Meanwhile, on Mustafar, Vader gets a call from Palpatine. And Palpatine's like, uh, did you feel that? And he's like, uh, yeah, it was like a storm in the dark side. Like, what the fuck did you do? Yeah, I felt a special tingle in my yeah. butthole. And Pal- <laughs> Palpatine's like, it, it wasn't me. It was Kira. She claimed she found the Fermata cage. And Vader's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> she found what? Yeah. So Palpatine's like, I know. You need to go get it. And this goes without saying, but you can't fail. This is crazy important. And he's like, yeah, f- fucking yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll go fix Vader's it. It's like, you always say yeah. I can't fail. Like, yeah. How is this any different from last yeah. Tuesday? So also, let me just go fix another thing you fucked up. And Palpatine's like, uh, what was that? And he's like, mm, it, <clears throat> it will be done, my lord. And he's like, you goddamn right it will be. Okay, got to go. Love you, bye. And he hangs up. So on a different smaller ship. <laughs> I just love to imagine that Vader and Palpatine end all their communication <laughs> yeah. with love, love you, you. <laughs> um, so on a smaller ship where Kira actually was, she wasn't on the big ship. Yeah. Um, she has escaped with her friends, right? One of her friends is like, so do you think Palpatine knows uh, we weren't on the suicide ship? And she's like, I really don't know, but we all know that he's going to figure it out. Yeah. And the friend is like, well, the ship got escape pods out. Like, should we go and see if there are any survivors? And Kira's looking at her tactical display and these little escape pod icons are all blowing up all over the place. And she's like, yeah, no, nah. no, they're, they're dead. We'll avenge them, our friends, but no. Uh, 999,000 stronger than one? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So Kira calls Savage. She's like, so how'd it go? Give me a report. And Ren answers. And he's like, this is how it went, you crazy bitch. <laughs> First, we got electrocuted. Yeah. Yeah, you, then everything was on fire. Yeah. Then everything blew up. Yeah. And then I killed your fucking peons. Yeah. So you did your weird science. And we got fucked in the ass by a bunch of energy beams. And then it stops. But look, we're out. We're done. Like, we're going solo. We're going to go do our own solo album. There's only <laughs> You're going what? Yeah. There's only so much of this bullshit we can take. Um, oh, and... By the way, when that thing went off, it felt like a spotlight in the force. And I bet Vader and Palpatine are literally on their way right now. So I'd start running if I were you. And he tosses the comm link back to Sava. And they, they're like, we're fucking out. And then, and then they leave, right? So Sava's like, well, the Knights of Ren have left the building. And Kira's like, that's fine. Like, we, we don't need them. Figure out what we learned from this and go to the next location and just do better this time. And Kira's friend is like, you, you see how fucked we are, right? Like, we lost all of our good people on our flagship. We lost our flagship. Uh, Palpatine knows who you are. He's seen your face, and he knows that you're trying to kill him. We lost the Knights of Ren, and they weren't even that good. Yeah. How was this anything other than a complete failure for us? And Kira's like, oh, don't worry. It's all coming together. It's all a part of the plan. (laughs) It's all coming up, Kira. (laughs) And then Hologram Sab is like, we'd we'd later come to realize that it was not all part of the plan. (laughs) And that's the end of the comic. And fucking, I didn't realize... (laughs) I didn't realize how good a Kira story in Star Wars could be. I'm really excited for that. that. that was fun.